Hello YouTube, today we're going to look at um, the intent receive trigger for macro droid. I've made a macro called new triggers on the store. So if we click templates and then click search, I'm going to type new triggers. Um, and it's this one, the top one. Someone here decided to do a copycat version. I don't know why. They just literally uh, copied my <laughs> macro and then uploaded it. If you look, the descriptions are exactly the same. Um, and mine was it also put up first. So I just thought I'd call them out on that. It's a little bit mean. Um, so we open this macro. I'll put the link in the description anyway for the correct one. Um, so what happens is when there's a change on Android phones or tablets or whichever Android you're using. Um, so for example if um, your battery changes it sends an intent and it's sort of like a global intent so um, pretty much any app can access it which is why this one was able to access it um, so these are the intents that I've added to macro droid that aren't built in so there are more intents than this um, list. I'll, I'll show you the full list in a minute, but the are uh, intents that cover triggers that MacroDroid hasn't got built in. So these ones are compatible with Android 4.1 and above. Uh, so there's different ones. So when Bluetooth states change, that kind of thing. Um, all these ones then so picture taken for example um, what you do with these um, you, you decide which one you want so for example if you wanted what does this one say Dev device shutdown that's a good example so you press that and then press copy and that copies just that particular um, trigger and then you go back to your macros so if we just go home and create a fresh one for example and press this paste button it puts it here so now when you add actions you can detect the device that is shutting down um, There are better ways on Android 9 and below to detect this. Um, but Android 10 and above, it's kind of the only way you're going to be able to detect it because Google had to decide to remove some uh, intents. So if I show you... So if we go down, there's loads and loads and loads of these. Um, so then we look further down and it'll show you. Um, so we've got keyboard change, for example, or system language change and stuff for SD cards. You can copy any of these. Some of them have got descriptions and some haven't. Um, I will be updating this at some point because there's also some intents that are missing here. Um, and of course, if you want any added that aren't here, I'll look into to adding them. Um, there are lots, but I'm looking for when it starts to say there's 
newer versions as well. There we go. So this one says, if we look at towards the top of the screen here, it says, uh, oh, sorry. Uh, it's got the following are compatible with Android 5 Lollipop. Um, so it should be 5 and above. I should have written there. So, and of course you can try to use them on versions that are above Android 5. But as we start getting up the versions, so Android 6, 7, you know, and subsequent versions, security does get tighter and silly restrictions, as I would call them, start getting implemented by Google. So some of these older triggers, so these triggers here are compatible with 5. Some of these are not going to be compatible with newer versions. Um, but your best bet is just to try and see if it works. And these are Android 9 ones now. We've scrolled past 8.1. And then there'll be ones for Android 10, but there's absolutely loads. This macro itself doesn't do anything because if um, if it did, then it would just trigger all the time and cause huge battery drain. And it wasn't about the actions, it was about the triggers. So none of these things, that are, these intent receives are built directly into MacroDroid. So if you want to create your own, if we go back and we go to macros, add macro, plus button, search, int, e, n, t, intent received, you can write your own intent received here if there are any, and you can add extras which are things like the reasons for things happening, um, I'll put the documentation in the uh, description, but that's how that works. Um, so yeah, there are other others, but it's just there's just such a massive list and things change so fast that um, the list is growing. Um, and of course, each OEM, which stands for Original Equipment Manufacturer, so for example, Sony or Samsung or Huawei or whoever else have their own system. So some of those intents aren't going to work on different devices, but it's just a case of trying. So in the log, if you, if you when you press system log, it will show you the, if there's been errors. Um, and if there has, then you can sort of work out what's what to do with those but um just i just thought i would give you a little bit of an insight as to how that worked and i'm hoping that that was helpful to you i'll i'll see what i can do to update the list anyway okay thank you for watching take care goodbye